Hey everyone, my name is Pritam and you're watching Tech with Pri. Welcome to my channel and I'm back with another tech video. Now this is the 32nd video of our newly created technical series called ServiceNow. So in my last video, you have seen we have used the concept of flow designer and we have used it in our Cre already created catalog item that was the uh, iPhone 14 catalog item and we have used our newly created flow there and I have shown you how each and every step is working right how you are how the request is coming and then the request item the RITM and how it is going for the approval and then several tasks are creating based on the requirements and finally the request is getting close so each and every step i have explained you and how to do that in with the help of flow designer i have shown you right in my last video so it was a very important video guys so if you miss the video don't worry i'm gonna put the link in the description and also you can find the link here on your screen right so let's see what we are going to learn from today's video Okay, so with the last video, you already know we have completed our flow designer uh, section, right? So there were three video on flow designer. We have completed three of them. And today we are going to start a new section that would be a very, very important one. And by the name, you already understand it, right? So it is the CMDB or the configuration management database, right? So we would understand why CMDB is important and what are the different components of CMDB, how CMDB is working. We will create different relationship inside of CMDB and many more things. And we would complete this section of CMDB with the help of three videos again, where I would discuss about uh, different components of CMDB today in this video. Next, we would discuss about the CI different relationship of CI, CI relationship, which is another very important video. And in the last video, we would understand about the functionality of CMDB. So how CMDB is functional or how CMDB is working and this section is going to be very very important guys because try to understand if you want to become a service now administrator you need to understand about CMDB how CMDB is working okay so make sure you watch the full video guys and let's go and jump back now few minutes back I was talking about CMDB CI uh, we will create CI CI relationship we would understand we would see these and that right but before all of this thing we need to understand like why we need the cmdb and what is the cmdb from where it comes from so make sure you watch the full video we would clear each and every concept and also i will go to the demo also after the explanation and i'll show you in practical okay so make sure you stay with me till the end right so situation without cmdb so what would happen uh, we will see a situation where cmdb is not present and what kind of difficulties that we can have right so for the example let's see we have a company that is name is take with free of course i'm going to use that right and take with free what what the company is doing so as you know take with free uh, let's consider this as an it company and as you know in it company they give laptops and desktop to the user uh, for the employee right they are using and without laptop desktop a company has many other things right for an example they have different server right and also they have different router that is connected in the office and different location so that people in the office like the employee they can have the internet uh, connection right so there are different things which is providing by a company right now let me give you a situation right so there are few team members who are working in the office tech with free and they are suddenly having issue with the email right so they are not getting emails or suppose the email is very slow for them okay the email service which is not working for them so what they would do they would call a service desk people and they would inform about the issue and they would raise a ticket and after a certain time maybe the issue has been identified that one of the server one of the server that is the uh, mail server or the exchange server that is got affected and that is the reason the mail services are affected okay for the employees which is absolutely okay that's the right solution also but also it is very important or maybe the leadership or the manager they're asking like okay that server has got issue but do we know do we know how many times this server has got affected previously but the, for the id team for the solution team they don't have that result accurately right because maybe they are maintaining these server details in an maybe an excel file or maybe in you know in a different uh, file i don't know in a sharepoint maybe but not not in a formal way like in a database or something like that so that's why they do not have the accurate data 
and very importantly let's forget about the data also now if the question arise if the leader leadership from the leadership team or from the client if they ask this question right like okay the exchange server or the mail server is affected so how many server or how many applications are linked with that mail server that are already affected so what i'm trying to say is that for a particular in a server from like a mail server that is not only maybe supporting the mail service maybe they are supporting different services or different server maybe that mail server is supporting some other uh, network servers or network devices so in that case that could also cause the issue and as for the it team there has no relationship proper relationship model or relationship connection they don't know about it so they cannot tell the answer about it right so what i'm trying to say two things you have seen right first in enough information about the particular server the exchange server or the mail server that is affected and also also the it team does not have the answer on like if that server is affected how many other services are going to affect for this how many applications that's not going to work or maybe how many other servers that's not going to work so all this information are not clear right because we do not have a proper structure thing like in a database or in the cmdb so with the help of cmdb you can get all of these answers and these are very very important you can understand right if i get the details like what are different services that can affect if this server is affected so all these details all these things we would get with the help of the cmdb so you already started to understand how powerful this configuration management database is so what is cmdb so cmdb stands for configuration management database so it is nothing but a series of tables which stores the information of different configuration item so we would see about configuration item in the later slide but configuration item stands for anything any devices in a company which provides the service right for an example like the computer the laptop the server we were talking about the mail server right and also if i talk about different like routers anything that providing a service to a company it company that can be considered under the configuration item so in the cmdb we get different configuration item information about different configuration item their attributes i'll show you what i mean by attribute here so attribute are nothing but all the information about that particular ci okay that's like who has owned the ci or what is the name of the ci many other important things and also the relationship between them because we have already seen right relationship means how they are connected with each other so that i can understand if one service get affected others can get also affected right at the same time so this kind of information are there in the relationship model so that's all about cmdb so to use cmdb for a system administrator or anyone who wants to access cmdb because for the system administrator admin access would be there they need access like asset itl itl uh, itl underscore admin or cmdb read so these kind of uh, roles are required so three key tables of cmdb which we will also see uh, in a moment in my demo instance that is very important first one is the cmdb that's the configuration management database that's a main table base table base cmdb table you could say then we have the cmdb ci table so already you know what is cmdb ci we will we would also just see in a minute in the next slide so cmdb ci are those item like desktop laptop those configuration item and finally the relation to store the relation we have the cmdb relationship ci table okay so now i would show you in the demo that most of the tables you know most of the tables are as part of or extended extends from the cmdb extended from the ci cmdb ci table so this is the main table and cmdb underscore ci table is extend from the is extended from the cmdb table the top table okay and this is a base table and you know the definition of base table base table means it does not extend from any other table okay so most of the table we would see that is extended from the cmdb ci table okay so let's move on cmdb ci or the configuration item like i said any item that needs to be managed in order to deliver service okay though those are responsible to deliver service so you have to manage those item have more attributes and information which we will see in a minute so a ci can be a computer laptop router server database applications like i said uh, ci record will contain all this information like name owned by who is the owner of it 
model ID used for vendor and many more things, right? So in the next slide, if I see this picture, I will also show you in the demo instance. You can see this is a form of a particular, you can see room layout app service offering. So this is a particular service uh, and this is the CMDB CI table right so here you can see so many attributes these are the fields right all this information we are getting from here and from in the bottom we can see we have the related items so here you can see the relationship status so next thing is the ci relationship uh, cmdb real ci table so here it stores the different type of relationship between different ci like i said okay and also it helps to understand the root problem of a particular issue so if you understand like like with the help of this, I would show you where the particular issue in which server it is affected that you would be able to know, right? And then it also helps to understand which services can be affected due to, due to this affected CI. So if one server is affected, what are the chance of or what are the services that is going to affect or that is already affected? You can see with the help of this chart. That's this kind of a schema map of, you know, the relation of CMDB CI, uh, different CI. I'll show you. And finally, it helps us to understand the infrastructure of an IT company. So how it is working. So enough of this uh, theoretical lecture. Let's move to the developer instance. But I, I hope it was meaningful, right? You understand how CMDB CI is the thing and why CMDB is important. Why we need CMDB, right? So now let's move to the developer instance and let's understand more about CMDB. Okay, so I'm in my ServiceNow developer instance. So quickly, I'm going to search all. And... So if I search for configuration, so that's you need to type for configuration, I mean for the CMDB. So if you go down, you'd find uh, application, yeah, configuration. So under configuration, you can see there are so many things are there, like CI class manager. So we will discuss about class in the next video where we will understand the functionality and how CMDB is working practically, how they are used, being used, all of these details we would see, okay. And I want to show you all of the different modules we have. We have CMDB groups, uh, health perform preference, CMDB uh, reports, data managers, services, different services. Uh, these are all part of CMDB. And if I go down here, you can see there are lists of application servers. Tomcat, we have Java, we have IBM, we have Domino, web servers we have, we have servers like Linux, Windows Server, Unix Server. So this all module, you can see database server, these are all individual configuration item, information about configuration item. For example, if I open the Windows Server tab, so let me show you. So these are the list of the Windows Server and these are all configuration item, individual configuration item configuration item if i open any of the server let's open the first one which is the owa ht01 that's the name of a windows server okay and this is the form of a configuration item this is the ci form you can see where the attributes are there like attributes means name the asset tag who are the manufacturer of this server again this is a demo instance all this information are demo not real okay which is the company uh, model id and then if i go down the configuration of this particular item that's why it's a configuration item right that table name and it's pretty much understandable so which is the operating system which is the size of ram this server has this information are there now if i scroll down here and we can see the related items under we have this relation for ci relationship i'm gonna what i'm gonna planning is that i'm gonna create a new video for ci to explain you ci relationship and also how to create a ci relationship right so like I discussed, uh, this related items and this CI relation, this is very, very important. And I would explain you in the next video. But you understand the configuration item from configuration item from where we have all the attributes of the configuration tab. So now if I click here, I want to see the table configuration. I want to go to the table. So let's see. This is the, the name of the table is the Windows Server table, which is extending the server table okay so the in the server table we were seeing th there would be different server like linux windows uh different right okay unix so this is the windows server details this is the name of the table so in cmdb there are a lot of tables i mean there are more than 100 tables are available in cmdb out of the box i'm talking about and like i said these are all different areas where you can store this information and later you'd be able to understand where the service is affected right so now this is all about the and you can see this module of this application it's huge there are so many things are there under um, the ci configuration item okay now if i go to the configuration item so 
let me go to the cmdb underscore ci dot list let's see and you can see let's remove this we have two thousand seven hundred and eighty four eighty five different uh you know records are there for configuration item you can see these are the different configuration item are there so different configuration item are available so if i go to the table view so you can see cmdbci this is a main table i was talking about this table is extends for the base configuration table okay and base configuration table is something which does not extend from any other table that's that's why it's a base table right and cmdbci so if i open the list of the table that we have if i go sys underscore db object right that's the uh, shortcut from seeing all the tables you can see we have 4992 tables so i just search for configuration uh, then i'll just say configuration item so you can see 104 table out of the box that is extends from the configuration item table ci table right so like as i was saying so I like I said, so configuration item table is the key table from where all the tables I have highlighted, I have extended, right? So now you can go there and you can go on a different configuration item table and open and try to see the different attributes. So three key important components of uh, the CMDB we have we we have understood now. One is the CMDB base table. Next one is the CMDB CI table and CMDB relationship table, relationship table where uh, about CMDB relationship table and how you can create relationship, how it is working. All we will understand in the next video in, in the CMDB relationship video. So don't forget to watch the next video. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you have any doubts, come to the comment section. Don't forget to share this video with your friends and families so that it can reach out to many people. See you in my next video. Bye-bye. Take care.